Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my 2024 bullet journal setup. I know I'm always telling you all about how busy it's been, but somehow it's been getting even busier. And so I wasn't able to get to this 2024 setup for quite some time, and I wasn't able to record all of the process. Most of it will just be a recording of the painting of the cover page, and the rest will be a flip through and explanation of my spreads. As usual, I like to set up the bullet journal with a theme that matches the cover page of the bullet journal itself. And so you'll see across my spreads that mostly it's a celestial theme. Overall for my setup this year, I'm starting it off pretty simple, only one half page painting that isn't too complex in terms of how many things I added to it. It was mostly focused on a magical archway showing a starry background as well as a lake or ocean filled with stars and sparkles and waves as well as a moon for decoration in the middle. The rest of my spreads that you'll see soon are mostly washi tape heavy with some writing here and there and some use of stamps. I think it's pretty easy for a beginner to follow along. So if you happen to be new to bullet journaling and see something that you like, I hope that you try it out. Given that I wasn't able to record all the steps of my 2024 bullet journal setup, if anything happens to be unclear and you would like to see exactly how I put things together, please let me know in the comments below and I can work on a video for that. About this cover page painting, I was trying to show some waves on the surface and give it some dimension. It was actually harder than I thought to try and paint that effect. I do think I'll need some more practice in painting water and waves and oceans and lakes as I haven't had too much practice painting water bodies. Mostly, I think I've gotten a bit more practice with painting some more plants and trees and vines and such, which I think I've seen some improvement in, but maybe the next thing for me to work on is to try and paint more water-related paintings. Although not perfect, I still really enjoyed creating this painting. It felt very freeing and it was worry-free as well to work on a relatively simple painting with just a few elements.
flip through and explanation of my spreads. Starting off with my half page cover page and my goal page on the right. For the goal page, I wanted to do something different where it would be practical and also very easy for me to be able to view my progress. So I did a half page showing 2024 and then a list of 24 and 2024, almost like a bucket list, but also some goals I want to accomplish. For the actual goals itself, I put the goal breakdown on half a page that's foldable, then the corresponding actions right beside it, and then on the next page, I wrote down some milestones that I can break it down into, and then trackers on the very right so that I can see how far I've made progress for my milestones. And then you can see that the way it can be folded such that I can see different views very easily, however I wish to view it at a glance. As you all know, I like to experiment with my setups and make things up as I go. It was really fun to create this and play around with folding the paper over and seeing different views. Next up, I have my future log, which I put one page for each month to give me enough space to jot down all important dates, as well as some relevant notes. Next, I allotted one page for a brain dump with a corresponding to-do list and comments that I can create from that brain dump. And then I have a things to check out with four sections for the major categories. Here I have some space for needs, wants, and financial summary. And then a page for household errands and another one for chores. I have half a page to track my headaches, migraines, and periods, and the page of notes for corresponding details that I would like to jot down. I have a page for art ideas and another for my bullet journal themes per month. I have separate spreads for each month for my schoolwork so that I can jot down key deadlines as well as assignments, quizzes, and other relevant major details that I need to keep track of. least, I would like to show you the Suki Moonlit Dust bullet journal that I'm using for the first half of 2024. I didn't record it before I started painting in it, so the pages are a little bit ruffled, but you can still see how pretty it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll join me on my 2024 art and bullet journal adventures. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon!